Hello, today we will deal with tick bites. So tick bites, this is an insect that will then go onto your skin when you're, for example, in the forest, you're walking around and uh, you don't have so much cloth on you and then this tick will be able to reach your skin. It will then take your skin, bite it and uh, it will suck some blood and thereby these bacteria and viruses will get into your body. And we have to distinguish these two things now. So bacteria and viruses, I said. Viruses uh, can cause then this tick-borne encephalitis and bacteria can cause then Lyme disease. Uh, the, the difference here is that Lyme disease is due to bacteria which can then be treated with antibiotics. Tick-borne encephalitis, which is caused by a virus Flavivirus, Flavivirus, that cannot be treated with antibiotics. As we know, antibiotics can only be given to patients with bacteria. So it doesn't work on viruses. So what can we do with patients who get viruses? We have to prevent it by giving vaccination. So when you give a vaccination, then the immune system will recognize this virus. And whenever the virus comes into your body, then it will attack these viruses and it will kill it. So we can say that um, to prevent tick-borne encephalitis, it's possible to give a vaccination. But to prevent Lyme disease, unfortunately, it's not possible to give a vaccination because there exists no vaccination against the bacteria. Therefore, in this case, we have to treat it with antibiotics. And the type of tick that is the most common one here in Europe is Ixodes ricinus. Ixodes ricinus. And this will now bite you. It will take around one week incubation time before you start to get any symptoms. And if we talk about the tick borne encephalitis or so this virus, then it will take one week and you will get uh, after one week uh, very light fever, muscle pain, you will have, you will have weakness. And then after one week of these symptoms, you will get no symptoms at all. So you will get better. And the second phase will be that after this week of no symptom, there will begin to be uh, many, many symptoms, much higher fever. And it can go so far that you get meningitis, meaning you will have an inflammation of the brain cells and brain tissues, and you will have so far to get encephalitis and paralysis and you will have consciousness being being worse so you cannot speak normally and you will get then chronically very high pain so headache and that is only the tip of the iceberg because you can actually die so we have seen that around 0.7 percent of people with tick-borne encephalitis can die and that's a pretty high number and especially if you consider that you could actually get the vaccination and prevent all this so you can prevent yourself from dying by vaccinating yourself against tick-borne encephalitis so please do that the other thing that we said we have bacteria, and the bacteria is not called flavivirus that was the virus flavivirus is the virus and bacteria is borrelia burgdorferi Borrelia burgdorferi, and this can cause a Lyme disease. And we don't have a, va a vaccination here against Lyme disease. We only have antibiotics, as we said. So that's the big difference. And here we also have uh, some incubation time. It will take a little bit time before the symptoms start. And the first thing that will be seen usually is something called Erythema migrans. Erythema migrans, this is a skin uh, reaction where it looks like a ring. Erythema migrans is like a ring and it migrates and it gets larger and larger. Therefore, it's called a migrans. It's migrating. And also, you can see that in your ear, around the ear. Then you call it lymphocytome, so Borrelia lymphocytome. And that's the first stage, because there exist some stages, and this is the first stage that can happen. The second stage would be, once again, going in direction of neurology, meaning early neuroborreliosis. Early 
neuroborreliose. So it's you hear in the name, it's causing uh, neurological symptoms early on due to this Borrelia burgdorferi. And that can be the same symptoms as we had with tick-borne encephalitis, meaning meningitis or inflammation of the brain. And you can get here also inflammation of the nerves, the brain nerves. Uh, you can get the inflammation of myelitis, meaning the myelon. And you can get gait disturbances, even urination problems. All the things related to the nerves can happen in this second stage. And also, if we look at stage three, this, these are the same symptoms as stage two, but here we call it just late neuroborreliosa. And that is when we have, for example, a couple of years, years later. And that can be symptoms of skin, for example, then we call it acrodermatitis chronica atrophicans. And you can get uh, joint problems, so arthritis. You can get nerve damages, polyneuropathy. And all this can be very, very later on in your life, many years later. So we can say th these are the three stages. The early ones, we said skin. The second one are early inflammation of the brain. And the late ones are more polyneuropathy, uh, arthritis, joint pain, and, and the skin, typical skin uh, disease that we can see. This is an inflammation of the skin called acrodermatitis chronica atrophicans. You have to look at pictures to uh, understand what this means. And now what? We have, we have a patient now with these symptoms. If we see this erythema migrans, we will give them antibiotics. If we, if we know that the patient got this tick, tick bite within 48 hours, then we have to make a vaccination. We have to give a vaccination. Because, as we said, if, if the patient did not have any vaccination before, but I would say, if the patient did not have any vaccination before, please give a vaccination. If he already had a vaccination, then you can give it once again in, in four weeks time if the patient did not come to you as a doctor within 48 hours. If he did, then please give the vaccination immediate, immediately at the spot. If he comes and says, I, 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 I got this tick bite one week ago, then you can give this vaccination in four weeks time. All these symptoms that I mentioned here are usually, usually only around 30% of the cases there. So the most of the majority of the cases have no symptoms at all. And therefore, therefore it's, I would say, very dangerous because we, we talked about this late complications, this stage two and stage three of Lyme disease. You see that if you don't have any symptoms, then you will maybe get symptoms in 10 years, 15 years, and then you will have joint pain and polyneuropathy and all these types of symptoms. And you already forgot that you got the tick bite. So I would say, please, if you get the tick bite, go to your doctor, get your antibiotics, treat Lyme disease, because that's treatable with antibiotics, and get your vaccination, because then you can treat your virus infection there. And please prevent that with getting vaccination early on. So not only 48 hours within the bite itself, that's possible, but please get it before. Because maybe if you are going in, your for in the forest and you don't recognize it, then what? Then what? You only recognize that this tick, tick is there. You see it's really large. Usually when it's really large, then it's more than 48 hours. So therefore it's very important that you always check your skin after you come home, when you when you shower, and recognize it as as, as early as possible. How is this vaccina uh, vaccination done? As we know, most of the cases are between March and October. This is when the tick will bite you mostly. And what we have to do is we will give them children vaccination 
when they are more than one year of one year of age, we'll give the second one three months later, third one one year later, fourth one three years later, fifth one five years later, and then we'll give it every five year until they are 60 years of age. After they are 60 years of age, we will give it every three years. So once again, you will give children when they are more than one years of age, the first vaccine against this tick one encephalitis. Then three months, one year, three year, five year, and then every five year until the patient is 60 years of age and off the 60, we will give it every three years. How do you give it? In, in adults, you give it in your, for example, upper arm, in small children, when they are small, one year of age, then you will give it in the big muscle of the leg. So musculus vastus lateralis, so the lateral part, lateral vastus muscle. And in Europe, for example, we have then two types of vaccines. One is for adults and one is for children. The one for children is called, for example, here in Europe, FSME Immune Junior. That was for children. And for the adults, we have FSME Immune Adults. And the difference is that the junior will be given until the children get into the age of 16 years of age. And then after 16, they will get the adult vaccination. I want all this information to sink in now. We have virus, we have bacteria, and virus can cause 0.7% of death rate. Please vaccinate yourself. If you didn't get the vaccine, please, between March and October, it's very important that you get this vaccine and please get it early on. So I would say, please get it already in March. Otherwise, you, you have a risk of dying of almost every 200 patient. So if 200 bites are happening, then every 200 bites, one patient will die. So please take it seriously. And when it comes to Lyme disease, you have to get your antibiotics. And which antibiotics are we dealing with here? Usually we will give something called doxycycline, 100 milligram, two times daily, so in the morning and in the evening. And we will usually give it for at least, we will give it at least two weeks, but rather three weeks. 21 days. If it if it gets very, very severe, we're dealing with stage two and stage three of Lyme disease, what we've talked about is meningitis and cephalitis. Please then give an uh, intravenous antibiotic, which is called ceftriaxone, ceftriaxone, and we'll give ceftriaxone two gram every day for at least two weeks, rather three weeks. And that's the difference here in Tick borne encephalitis with the virus, we have no chance other than vaccination. I hope you got the message. Take care. Bye bye. Have a nice day.